Please enter the warehouse and report to... I certainly hope that rude C7 unit didn't send you over here. Those more recent models have no etiquette programming whatsoever. I think he should be replaced or shipped down to maintenance to direct droids there. But I cannot seem to convince my masters of the logic of the request. Oh, I wouldn't go that far despite what others would say. A number designation for a C7 unit means far more than an integer increase. Some droids undergo radical changes with each generation. Each numeric jump in sequence can have wide-ranging changes in functionality and temperament. But then, you are a new model yourself. I wouldn't expect you to understand how it feels. Now, was there something I could help you with? I see. Well, good day to you then. I am sorry, but only authorized cargo droids are allowed into the warehouse. I cannot permit you to enter due to the sensitive cargo. No. In fact, I do not have you on my list of Codin's acquisitions. How did you get in here? I see. Well, I have no current use for you. I'll assign you to C6E3. He needs the help to make up for his inferior programming. If you do not wish to comply with these instructions, I can have you given a memory wipe and behavioral reprogramming. Good. Now report to C6E3. You will be assisting him. As I said, only authorized cargo droids are given... Shouldn't you be getting back to work? Oh, you're back. What can I do for you? That C7 droid absolutely infuriates me. Needs help to do my job, do I? I would be happy to help you, but as long as that C7 unit is perched at the door, I can't. Well, if the C7 unit were to be disabled, my programming would require me to take over his responsibilities in his absence. Yes, I would be willing to give you access to the next room. As I said, only authorized cargo droids are given access to the rest of the warehouse. Now please get back to work. I know that C6 unit needs assistance. You can't be serious. I am not in need of deactivation. What are you talking about?
Just a moment. There.
Oh my, you startled me. What are you doing here? I monitor the transponder codes of all ships leaving the docks, then transmit departure information for any of Vaga the Hutt's freighters. The information is sent to a remote computer system. Oh, I see. In that case, I will upload the transponder codes to you. And here's the blank transponder card you need. You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go back to monitoring the traffic. It is important that relevant departure information is relayed as quickly as possible. Any attention to the web? Yes, I would appreciate. Who are you? You're not supposed to be here. Confident statement. You have the list of Voga's launch codes. You will give these to us now, or else we will be forced to take drastic action. Surprised statement. You are foolish to think we will allow you to take that information back to your master. Amused query. I think you will find the odds are somewhat in our favor. Now will you be giving us the codes, or not? Incredulous statement. Then we will have to take them from you, which I assure you was our preference to begin with. <laughs> It's our astromech droid. I thought you got sold. I don't believe this. He says he's got the transponder codes that Godo's using to hijack Voga's freighters. We can change the ID signature of the Ebon Hawk and get to Godo's yacht that way. We could go to the repair shop by the landing pad to overhaul the Ebon Hawk's codes. From there, we should make a nice target for Godo. Count me in. Yeah, right. You're the one who wanted to sell her to Goto in the first place. Yeah, and I don't like being cheated. Trust me, Goto's yacht is going to have some pretty heavy defenses. You're going to need all the help you can get. Terry wanna jump on that table. Do so now. Terry wanna jump on that table.
I was expecting someone taller. I hope you are not in too much pain to hear my words and understand them. I am Goto, one of the officials representing a percentage of non-sanctioned trading here in both the YouTube system and Republic Space. And I had a question for you. Are you a Jedi? Good. I am already wasting precious minutes in granting you this audience, and I do not wish to waste any more. I have gone to considerable expense and effort to bring you here. It is because I have a job for you. Afraid? No. It is simply difficult to be in so many places at once. Hollow technology is currently the most effective and convenient way to communicate my commands over vast distances. At least until Aerotech develops the new hollow transceiver within two standard months, but by then it will simply be too late. There is something important to me I need protected. The Republic, it is broken. What happened on Paragus has set in motion events that I can no longer control. Not to be melodramatic, but I fear it has broken the galaxy irrevocably. This has occupied much of my attention, and there seems to be no predictable way to resolve the situation. In one standard month, the Republic will collapse. Not due to war or secession, but because it lacks the infrastructure to support itself. It is unknown to all but a few, but the Sith won the Jedi Civil War. Even with their supposed victory, the war left the Republic on the brink of collapse. Rather than remain and help solidify the Republic, however, Revan chose to leave known space. A frustrating turn of events, as a rallying figurehead could have done much to restore order. There is something moving in the galaxy that lies beyond the ability of my instruments to detect or predict. I believe it to be a legacy of the Sith, but I have been unable to determine the source. Whatever this presence is, it is staging strikes at key figures throughout the Republic, and through some unknown means it is causing the destruction of worlds. Qatar, a Miraluka world in the Mid-Rim was one such place. I have reason to suspect there was a gathering of Jedi on that world when it was rendered lifeless. I cannot find any pattern in these attacks, and it is a source of frustration to me. The 
there is some clue, however, that perhaps the Jedi are linked to these attacks, or that the targets are significant in some way I have yet to discover. You misunderstand me. I do not wish to stop the Sith any more than I wish to stop the Jedi. It is simply important to me that the infighting amongst these Jedi religious branches be resolved so the galaxy may be put back together. I do not care which one triumphs. I only want the universe to settle down for a while and catch its breath. All these constant crises are getting somewhat repetitive. You could say I am something of a patriot. Although I was unable to serve during the troubles with the Mandalorians or against the aggressors known as Malak and Revan, I am able and willing to serve now. The problem is I can find no side to choose. Both are hidden from me as they seem to be hiding from each other. Irritating. It is like a Dejaric board where neither player can see the other nor see all the pieces. It is not a fair game, an equitable game. Bazak bores me. I often suspect my opponent of cheating. I prefer predictable games such as Galactic Economics. Excellent. It really is in your best interests, you know. There is no margin for error when I say that these Sith seek to murder you and all Jedi everywhere. They have been quite deficient. And when they dispose of you, there will be nothing left to stop them, and the galaxy will fall under their influence. Ah, well, there is where we are at cross purposes. I cannot set you free. You have a tendency to cause dangerous repercussions wherever you go, and I would rather keep those to a minimum. The galaxy really is a fragile place right now. I am a businessman. The Republic needs stability to survive, prosper, and grow. Whether it is led by the Sith or supported by the Jedi is of no consequence to me. It is the proximity alarm. We are under attack. Somehow, your allies have found you. Unexpected. You will remain here, under guard. I must see to the defense of my ship. Mm -hmm. 